Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do another update on the barn dominium that we're building. Uh, a lot has been happening. Um, we just got back from uh, Lake Eufaula uh, last week and uh, had a decent start to the, the Bassmaster Open season. And now it's back to the grind, you know, building this because we, we have two weeks now, officially two weeks before our, um, our first baby is uh, going to be born Riley Elizabeth she's coming fast and so I'm trying to get everything ready at least the downstairs you know to uh, to be able to live downstairs because we don't want to move into the the uh, fifth wheel if we we can help it but let's go ahead do it a real quick update so a lot of things have have changed as far as our plans the biggest thing that has changed has been the flooring originally we were just going to do the concrete you know the concrete slab and just have it open but a few things um you know kind of made me decide to go another route number one i couldn't figure out the best solution you know we ended up buying some uh some uh acid stain stuff but everything that i was hearing online was you know saying it's, it's very difficult to install which is not something i'm looking to to get into you know an, another really big project uh, but more importantly, you never know what you're going to get when it comes to the, uh, the acid stain. Um, and so, you know, we decided um, that, and then we were also thinking that we were going to do like a, just a clear coat on it and just kind of uh, seal it and see how that looked. But then I just finally gave up and ended up getting this uh, vinyl flooring. So these vinyl planks. And so that's been my project this week. Um, getting these vinyl planks put in so far it's going really well this this stuff is actually pretty easy to work with the main thing is just to make sure that you don't have any little gaps and that any tiny sliver of a gap that that um, comes up you end up um, you know taking care of it before you move to the next row um, but yeah, it's, it's working out pretty well right now. Uh, we also have to put this six mil plastic down because of course we've got the, uh, the concrete below it. So the concrete will sweat, I guess. And so we put this stuff down. Another thing that you gotta make sure is, is to make sure to keep everything clean underneath. So I guess this, is, this stuff is pretty temperamental if you've got like uneven floors or you got things underneath it. So I've constantly had to sweep it and you can see it just constantly gets dirty again. Um, I can't remember if the last update I showed you guys the countertops, but if I didn't, here they are. They, they're obviously, you know, uh, underneath a bunch of different tools and things, but they look amazing. We ended up having a company, I think it's Granite and Marble Creations. Um, they, they're down in Saudi Daisy, Tennessee. They had a fantastic selection. They, uh, had great customer service and the price was really good. It actually, uh, beat out Lowe's by like a thousand bucks, but, um, but yeah, it looks really, really good. And we got marble for what the cost of, for less than what the cost of like just a composite would be at Lowe's. So pretty stoked about that. Um, the kitchen, you know, once I get this this uh, this flooring, I think they call it LVP. Once I get this stuff in, I can actually put the appliances in here, the refrigerator, and the uh, the oven. Uh, I've still got to install our microwave, so that's another thing. Um, pretty much got the sink completely good to go. It's working. We got hot water. Look at that light. That's pretty cool. Um, and uh, so we got that all hooked up, had some leaks at first, but we got that taken care of. It's all about that, that uh, plumber's putty, I guess. Um, another big thing, so big shout out to Mark June. Um, you know, he, he came over and he helped me uh, with this. He's a, he's a friend of mine from the fishing world and he helped me with this, uh, this staircase. I mean, it's been an incredible process uh, and, and just having so many friends uh, come over and help has been very humbling and, and much appreciated. So thank you to everybody that has come over here to help on this project. Um, and uh, yeah, especially I need to give a special shout out to, to Ed Mangold. He, he, he really, um, this project wouldn't be where it's at if it wasn't for him. So 
Uh, gotta give him a shout out again. But we've got the stairs done. Uh, I ended up doing these stairs. This is just, you know, simple plate or pine planks. There's, you know, there's some, some, um, little, uh, you know, imperfections on it, but we're going to end up just covering this with carpet next week. So the carpet company is coming. And then we come up here. I ended up finishing out the uh, office with the tongue and groove other than, you know, trim that's going to cover everything. I got a little piece of trim up there. Um, ended up working on the windows, trimming the windows out. Uh, I learned that I'm definitely not a carpenter. Um, they, they'll, they'll do, but they're just not perfect. Um, but it looks all right, man. I'm, I'm still proud of it. Um, yeah. So the office is, is looking good. Uh, one thing that, uh, I, you know, I've discovered a lot of things about, about, you know, what I have patience for, what I have skills in and trim is probably not one of them. Um, so the drywall, we, we pivoted and had somebody else do the drywall. We did the same thing with the electrical. And I think I'm going to do the same thing with the trim in the house because there's just so much trim. And with a baby on the way, I just don't think I have the time and the skill to be able to do all the trim before the baby arrives. So I think I'm going to hire somebody out to do that, which means... Another couple dollar signs uh, added to the uh, added to the old budget, but um, that's how it goes, you know. So I'll be doing a breakdown of like what it ends up costing for one of the the last uh, videos I do. But I think that it's going to be a good move just having a professional come in here and get all the uh, the trim dialed in because you know I just am running out of time. So, but. But yeah, I mean, the office looks cool. I put up the shelf. Another example of like, it, it'll it work. Um, we're kind of in that that um, that mode right now. We went from, uh, that's not quite right to, uh, you know, oh, good enough to screw it. <laughs> it, it that, I mean, that's kind of the, 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 uh, the process that I've been going through with a, a lot of these projects is, at first, you're looking for perfection, then you're looking for just good enough, and then you're looking for just get it done. Um, and uh, so a lot of what you're seeing here is kind of like that. Obviously, I'm going to be putting another one of these right here. Obviously, we, you need another one. Uh, I just haven't done it yet. So before you drop those comments, just know that I'm adding another one. I might, might actually add two more because this is going to be a trophy shelf of all my trophies and uh it's going to be quite heavy so got to make sure that it's uh it's stout but <laughs> anyways um cleaned up today so the the house is is uh looking really good up here um because we got the the painters coming tomorrow my, my friends brandon and jay uh, Marlo, they're coming over to help with the, the painting. And then we also have the carpet coming over uh, next week. So I wanted to make sure that everything was clean. There's still a lot of dust. Oh my gosh. These houses, when they're being built, I didn't realize how much dust is is in these things. So um, this is, I mean, we're going to be dealing with dust for, for years probably. Um, but yeah. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. We've got railings on the porch now. I don't have to watch watch out for Doppler and, and constantly uh, you know worry about them when we're hanging out here on the porch. Um, I decided to just uh, have the um, the company that's doing our screen and the railing. You know, once they put the railing in, I was like, man, with all the trim work we've got, really the only way we could get long pieces of trim, you know, 12, 16 feet, that sort of thing, is you know, through this, this balcony here. So, uh, I, I called him this morning. I was just like, you know what, let's hold off for a few weeks on doing the screen, uh, while I, you know, still have some, some stuff that we might need to bring up through the, t the top here. But, um, but yeah. Oh, and I mean, I can't remember the last one I did, but I don't know if you guys knew that I got lights everything's working. So we've got power all throughout the, the, um, the, the house. 
Um, we did have a hiccup with one of the mini splits. Uh, the mini split external unit, there was a, a leak. So we're getting that replaced and uh, you know, no big deal under warranty, all that sort of thing. But um, so the two uh, internal units that were running off of that external unit didn't work. But what's nuts about these, if you guys are on the fence about going with, uh, you know, like a, um, a mini split or just a regular, uh, you know, HVAC system, duct ducted HVAC system, uh, these mini splits work incredibly well. So I've been running, you know, the three that are still working, um, and man, it, run, it, 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 it works perfectly in the entire house. So, um, these things are killer, both AC and heat. It will keep this thing, uh, pretty toasty and cool. And we've got to kind of experiment with both of those, uh, cause we've had a lot of nice warm weather as well as cold weather, but Anyways, that is what's going on in the build. Um, you know, there's been a lot of, of curveballs, like I said, uh, throughout this process. I've learned a lot about myself and what I, I, I'm, I'm pretty handy, I'm pretty capable, but patience is not something that I have. And I don't have a lot of time anyways, because, you know, I've got a career to, to uh, you know, to, to keep pushing at. And, uh, you know, and I kind of came to the realization uh, in the last couple months is, you know, saving money is great. And so the concept of, of doing things yourself to save money is great. Um, but, you know, that requires you to take away from your your job, your business, your career uh, in, in while you're trying to complete that that project. At least in my case, there's plenty of people out there that have enough time and they can des designate uh, a lot of, of their energy to a project like this. And that may make, make sense to go ahead and, and uh, you know, try to save a lot of money by doing a lot of things yourself. But I have found that, man, we're getting close to to what the upper range of our budget was initially. And, uh, and you know, so... I saved a little bit. I say, you know, I saved some good money by doing a lot of this myself, but honestly, I'd rather go out and make more money than save money at this point. So, uh, just, just, a, a, kind of a word of caution for people that are, are looking at it from just the cost standpoint. It may be a more, uh, it may be better to just, uh, make more money and focus on on you know things that are going to be bringing cash in as opposed to saving money in a process like this. It really depends on what your your skill set is, your patience level, uh, the time that you have on your hands, and all that sort of thing. But just some thoughts that I had uh, throughout this process. But anyways, everything is looking great. Everybody that I've I've worked with on this project, uh, especially Summertown Metals who provided the materials package for this, this um, project. They were incredible. Um, they're very easy to work with. And um, you can see, you know, we, we have quite a few, uh, quite a bit of lumber left after this, this project. So um, they added a little bit extra in there too. But um, overall, summertownmetals.com, go check them out. They are incredible if you're looking for a residential garage, commercial building, or a barn dominium like this one right here. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions about the barn dominium build, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm going to see you guys, well, here in the barn dough.